I think you should get off the road. Excuse us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> One, two. Come around the front, don't creep up from behind it. Get, get back, get back. Don't. Awesome. Oh my god! They're so cute! Why is there many flies on here? Maybe I'm just being a woman and overanalyzing all my relationships, including the one with the random koala. But doesn't he look like he feels a lot safer and content finding a big shelter with us? Anyways, maybe there's a car. Oh no, it's okay. It's turned out of the way. I'm not gonna come. So much for the plant to give me water. <laughs> <laughs> No, in 2019, Australia tourism took a really big hit due to the bushfires. The profession both my partner and I worked in kind of related to uh, tourism. So we thought it might be a really good idea to inject some much needed tourist money into local community um, in Kangaroo Island, which is also deeply affected by bushfires. So on that day, we were driving on Kangaroo Island in the 110 zone. Um, so you can imagine how fast the car goes. Uh, even though there were not a lot of cars around, but we did see a lot of road kills. So we spotted a koala sitting on the road and then just looking rather sad. Both my partner and I were enthusiastic about wildlife. And then we have the common sense not to interact with the wildlife. I just decided to uh, get off my car just to take a few photos. But then very quickly it occurs to me that uh, this koala is probably very sick uh, or probably injured. I had a light bulb moment inspired by the people of the internet. Since this is just a few weeks after the bushfires, it is very likely the koala is very weak due to starvation or thirst. Um, so then we proceed to give him just a little bit of water in a little container that we have at the moment. Now we do know that koalas don't drink a lot of water. They normally get water uh, from their usual food source. But we also know that in recent years due to uh, the extremely dry weather, As you know, Australia is just basically a big dry island. Um, and then also, no, it can be dangerous because um, if too much water gets into their lung, they could die from it. So we were very, very careful with it. And it became pretty clear to me that the koala doesn't want any water because he proceeded to uh, interact with me. Um, at that point, I really don't know what to expect. I've never had the chance to interact with a, with a live koala. Most time you see them in the zoo, they either sleep, they spend quite a lot of time in their life sleeping, or they are just chewing uh, eucalyptus leaves. So when a real koala in front of me starts to climb on me, and then I honestly don't know 
what to do with it. Then at that time, my instinct was to get away from it, not to interact too much with the wildlife. But then we can also feel uh, the koala is a bit busy and then doesn't know what to do. So at that time, we proceed to an impossible mission to get the koala off the road. <sighs> Let it you know, do whatever you like. At this point, I stopped filming because we saw a car fast approaching. It is a 110 speed limit road, and then I'm not very sure if the car can see the koala. So I wave at the car like a maniac. The car slowed down, and the driver gave us a really nasty look and then just drove off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, baby, that's my dream comes true. Do you want to try stand over here? Maybe he follow you? Or she? You love Scott more than me, Dao Do you want to climb on his shoulder? <laughs> Do you want some eucalyptus? This is your time. No, I want shoe. <laughs> it's not your size, so. My new tree. I'm not going anywhere. But it's not a tree, though. Not a tree, Koala. I hate to tell you this. A good, not come, come off the road. Why? Oh my God! Just move. It looks like you're performing a ritual on him. <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, good. Oh, yeah, good, good, good. I'm telling you, half an hour later, it's gonna come back. I wanna see him climbing on the tree. Then I feel like I'm probably not gonna go back home. But if he go back on the road, he does that for a reason, right? Oh my god, he's injured. I won't call someone about it. I know you see. Should we just hold on to him and take him to the town? Yeah. Do you have a tower or something? Oh, I do have a tower. Daddy. You need to wash that jacket. <laughs> Maybe you think you were just a eucalyptus tree. Because you're that green, huh? Makes sense. Oh, 
this is a, this is cannot be a white life. This is someone as a pet girl. It doesn't make sense, really. Okay, I <laughs> yes, it's not a good look. Oh shit. going somewhere. Oh, maybe this person can help. Is this a wildlife? Are they wildlife? Someone must have caught them. Jeez. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Is he sick? Does he does he look healthy? Cause cause he looks very skinny to me. Yeah, and there are a lot of flies on him. So or her. Oh, that's a girl. She <laughs> I've been calling him Wilson the past couple <laughs> Oh. Yeah, he fell a few times. It looks like he's drunk. I mean, she. So we're just like, uh, are we going to stay here for the night? It's pretty clumsy, isn't it? Yeah, definitely not. Oh. I'd say so. Is it because they haven't had enough food? Yeah, so, um, I mean, a lot of the, a lot of the feed on the island has been like, smoke tainted from the fires, and so, and they're pretty finicky animals, so there's the potential that if they haven't eaten for a little while, then they'll just deteriorate, and there's nothing you can do, really. Yeah. Oh, he's on a tree now. Yeah, he's on a tree, but he's getting down. Oh! Oh, that one. 
Hello there, Internet people.、Um, it's been two weeks since I'm back from Kangaroo Island.、Um, back to gloomy Sydney. It's been raining for a few days.、Um, I've been thinking about the koala we rescued.、Uh, well, I'm not even sure if we should call it rescued、uh, because, as you can see by the end of the video, we just left left her there on the tree. Okay, actually, I just realized I didn't even get a good job for how you know Wilson climbed on the tree,、um, but I can assure you that. Wilson did get on the tree eventually after two hours effort, and the next day we did、um, come back to look for her、um, to see if she's still there or maybe the rescue people already took her.、Um, we didn't really see her, and we didn't really see any roadkill, thank God. So、um, that is good news. So hopefully she's somewhere now and、uh, happily eating eucalyptus trees and living the best life. So ever since I'm back, like an overthinking nerd that I am, I did a lot of research on kangaroo island koalas, and here's what I found. First, koalas are actually considered pests in kangaroo island. Who would have thought, right? So apparently,、uh, koalas are not native in、uh, kangaroo island. They were introduced. In the Flinders Chase National Park, and then they just flourished from there.、Um, the number grew so fast to the point they became a threat to our local environment, eucalyptus trees, and other animals that rely on eucalyptus trees as food source. Hey there, I'm back. Um, so I quickly ran out of battery last night,、um, probably due to the inner professionalist me. Keep deleting everything I already filmed and keep refilming everything I already have.、Um, anyways, continue my point. I believe in 2019, the Australian Koala Foundation announced that they believe the koala is functionally extinct. I do not know what functionally extinct is, but it sounds eerily similar like Granny's Patrol's conscious uncoupling. I do not know the specific criteria for that, but it probably means that it's soon gonna move to the extinct list. We don't know how long it's gonna take for them to move to that stage. Probably just a couple of road kills away. Now, koalas are very vulnerable. They are picky eaters. They are threatened by land development, food degradation, drought. Dog attacks and chlamydia, and they also defenseless during bushfires, which makes the protection work even harder. Ever since I'm home, I watched a lot of koala rescue video on YouTube、uh, in Kangaroo Island. Around the same time, I found Wilson, and it shocked me to find that a lot of koalas after bushfire display the exact same kind of behavior like Wilson.、Uh, they're not eating. They're not getting on the tree anymore. They're staying on the road. They're looking very sad. And also, I've seen news report on Kangaroo Island after bushfire on a young koala refused to leave her dead mom's body, which is really heartbreaking. And I have this crazy idea. I think in Kangaroo Island, koalas are very traumatized after bushfire. They are collectively suicidal. I know it sounds ridiculous. I mean, it's not like koalas can afford therapies to find out what is going on with them mentally. But just from a lot of things I read about koalas in Kangaroo Island and my first-hand experience with Wilson,、um, it does suggest that they probably suffer greatly after bushfires. I mean, consider their only defense skill is this. As an Australian icon, there's so much more to know about koalas. Um, ever since bushfires, there has been overwhelming level of support and love from all over the world to help with the koala conservation. I hope this video can do its little part to help increase awareness and interest in koalas again. I mean, we all know it's lost as new koalas, but and if I somehow make some money out of this YouTube video,、um, I would like to find a really reputable. Uh, koala charity to donate the money to help with the koala conservation. So, right here, this is my story of koala rescue in Kangaroo Island. I hope you enjoy watching. I see you next time. Bye.